Hey Internet, RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now, today's episode, we have 100,000 American Airlines miles up for grabs, compliments of City, and their recently revamped American Airlines Advantage Executive Credit Card. So, not quite a new coat of paint, but these refreshes do come with in uh, large welcome offers, and that's what we're going to break down the terms and conditions, requirements, eligibility, everything you need to know to make City or Americans miles become your miles. Of course, if that sounds interesting to you, uh, go ahead, press the subscribe button, and let's get to work. Now, as always, there will be a link down below. It's not my link. I used to have links to City Cards, and they pulled them for whatever reason. So I'm linking to one mile at a time. They still have an affiliate link for it. I get nothing for it. They don't even know who I am, but I find value from their blog, and we might as well pay it forward you know, and help out somebody else if we can, you know, the nature of the game. But if you prefer, you can still get this offer from City's public site as well. So there is that. Get you where you need to go the fastest. Now, again, we, you know, City uh, or American, they both, they recently refreshed this card. So we'll talk about the card in a second, but we'll get to work here looking at the offer to start. And here you have it. Remember, with credit cards, there's usually no happy people, but we see a limited time offer and our, our, our number of 100,000 bonus miles. So what do we need to do here? Well, luckily, credit cards are a lot more simple than bank account bonuses, you, so you need to apply and be approved for the uh, American Airlines Advantage Executive Card, then spend $10,000 within the first three months of opening to land 100,000 American Airlines miles. And that's really it. It's simple. Unfortunately, $10,000 is very steep in spend, honestly. So what I can do for it, I can link down at least one blog post from Key Point Credit Union that will help you with some of that uh, credit card spend as well to get you started. Uh, 10000 is lofty, but... You know, normally when these credit cards, especially these airline or hotel cards, when they do refreshes, usually the top end of the offer is 100,000 whatevers. American Miles, um, Air Canada Miles, Delta Sky Miles, you name it. You know, when we see a new card launch or refresh, 100,000 is usually the top tier. So again, I could be wrong, but based on history, I think this is probably, if you've been waiting, you need some American Miles, this is probably the one to go for. Again, that spend is going to be a little bit tough. That, that they probably should have extended the, the window on that a bit, uh, but it is what it is, so to speak. So overall, that's what we got going here. Now, again, it's a credit card, so it's a lot easier, uh, but let's take a look at the eligibility as well. As we'll also cover some of the city rules. So when it comes to eligibility fees and closure, again, city rules, first of all, this is nationwide. You have the 1 in 8 and 2 in 65, which really speaks to the fact that they will approve you for one card every 8 days or two every 65 days. So just be mindful when the last time you applied for a city card was. Now, you can't have received a promotional offer on this product in the past 48 months. Uh, the, uh, the other American Airline cards that they have, they have some of Barclays, and then, of course, they have some more in the city portfolio. That is unrelated to this one, so it's product-specific. Unfortunately, there is an annual fee. It is $595. It did get bumped up during the refresh, and then you need to keep the card open for one year because, again, credit card rules do apply. Now, in addition to that, we've talked about the card. So what does the new look American Airlines executive card look like? Well, they kept the same design, uh, so same coat of paint. The annual fee did bump up. It used to be $450, now it's $595. So you multiply it here, you're looking at four back on American Airlines purchases. That did get bumped up. If you spend $150K in a year, it'll bump up to 5X. There's probably better ways to spend $150K, I would imagine. And you get 10X car rentals and a hotel's book via um, AA.com. Benefits here, you do get the legendary Admiral's Club. That's what this card was known for. TSA pre and global entry, 25% off in-flight purchases, enhanced airport experience. I don't think much of that one, honestly, but then, you, then the coupons come into play here. So $120 Avis rental credit, $120 Grubhub credit, $10 a month, and then the Lyft credit is basically pays out after your first three rides a month. So you take three rides, your fourth one you get 10 bucks off of, which is just a joke. And then 10,000 miles after earning 50 k loyalty points additional 10,000 miles at uh, 90k loyalty points so overall that is the new look card I mean the history lesson of this car is people used to like it because you could add like 10 authorized users and everyone would get Admiral's Club access so like 450 bucks you get like 10 people in the Admiral's Club which is you know pretty impressive and you could just split up the annual fee or something it, between you guys because it wasn't really worth using the card so they've since revamped it to make it you're supposed to be able to use it more. You've got, you know, 4X American where it used to just be two. Uh, you know, so I don't think the card is totally ruined. It's just ruined for most people, which was the point, right? They wanted to get rid of the regular people who were using this card. 
just for Animals Club, and now you have to be like a hardcore American Airlines flyer to use this. I don't. I still don't think it's a keeper card for most people, but again, for 100,000 miles, pretty good. I think for at least one run, then you could either downgrade it or product change it uh, to something else in, in City's lineup. And City is one of the issuers who's pretty relaxed on product changing, so sometimes you can even product change like to a core City card or something. So keep that in mind as we go. Now, if you're wondering what are these 100,000 miles worth, well, of course, you do the one cent per point if you wanted to, but that probably wouldn't be worth it. If you go back to one mile at a time, they're valuing city miles at 1.5 cents a point, which would greatly help. That'd make this almost $1,500 in travel. Now, the mileage that you get or the value that you get out of them is largely going to be based on how you choose to redeem them, what flights you're taking, domestic, international, where you're sitting in the plane. So the easiest thing to be if you're thinking about this would be go on American site, set up a booking like you normally would. You want to find the price in cash, there's the price in points. If you divide those two, multiply by 100 to get yourself a clean number, you'll get that cent per point calculation. So I would do two or three, just regular trips that you might be thinking about, whatever regular trip means to you, or you could be like, hey, I want to do an elevated fancier trip because I got you know a lot of American miles for free or you know for a little bit of spend. You could do that, and that will give you your actual valuation, and then you can more accurately figure out if this offer is worth it. In addition, if you're just getting into travel cards and you can use the TSA pre-credit for yourself, then obviously you know you're gonna be, that annual fee will be more than recouped in year number one. But uh, I think this is fine for year number one. Your value is just going to depend on how you redeem them. Uh, but overall, not a bad offer. Again, this is usually the top of the line offer for these type of cards. So with that, let's hit the summary slide to take us home. And here we have it. The target is City. The product is American Airlines Advantage Executive Card. This is a nationwide offer. Uh, the payout, 100,000 American Airline miles. Uh, those are, again, those are, I probably should have mentioned it, but those will go directly to your American Airlines account. So you do need to have an American Airlines account already if you're going to apply for the card. Uh, I should have mentioned that earlier, but you do need one of those. It is free to set up. Requirements. Spend $10,000 within the first 90 days of opening. Fees, of course, $595 in the closure. Keep the card open for one year. And just like that, that is everything you need to know about this card. Again, overall, I don't think it's a bad offer. I'm more annoyed with the refresh of the card than the actual and the spend than the offer itself. Uh, but again, we'll link some stuff down below. And if you're looking for more things to help you hit this uh, bonus, well then, of course, check out ProfitableContent.com, which is the channel's blog, where we have not only the latest news stories, we have credit card offers just like this one but not this one because city took them away and we have everything else though and we have other uh, bank promotions if you're more into that but anyways guys if that's going to do it for this one so of course if you liked it drop me a thumbs up down below if you found it particularly interesting consider subscribing to the channel because of course we're posting content just like this every single week on how to make the bank's money become your money so let me know down below if you're an american person american airlines flyer are you considering this one or even if you fly other airlines would you consider just swapping into american to take advantage of these miles and then go back to your regular airline love to get your thoughts on that anyways guys that's going to do it for this one as always thank you so much for watching and talk to you very soon in the next one.